In this lesson, I'll show how to perform matrix row operations using the TID4 home screen. I do have another lesson that shows how to perform row operations using the matrix menu. But I think using the home screen is a nice alternative because it's much easier to follow and is more intuitive. The only drawback is, after performing each row operation, we do have to write the new matrix down rather than store it in the calculator. So we're given this three by four matrix and we'll go over how to perform the following row operations. Number one, interchange row one and row two. Number two, replace row one with one half times row one. Three, replace row three with row two plus row three. And finally, replace row one with negative one third times row two plus row one. Now in red, the row operations have already been performed. We'll duplicate these on the calculator, except for this first one, to interchange row one and row two, we don't need a calculator, we just interchange the two rows. Meaning row two in the original matrix will become row one, so row two replaces row one, and row one of the original matrix becomes row two, so row one replaces row two. And that's it for this first matrix operation. Now we want to take this new matrix and replace row one, this row here, with one half times row one. So the new row one is going to be one half times the old row one. To do this on the calculator, we enter one half times row one of this matrix here. And notice how we just enter one half. We don't use the parentheses, we use these braces. Inside the braces we have the elements of the original row one separated by commas. So again, that's not hard to do by hand. Let's go ahead and verify this on the calculator. So we'll enter one divided by two for one half, and then second open parenthesis for the brace, and the elements of the original row one are two, comma two, comma negative four, comma negative three. Close the row by pressing second, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how we do have a decimal here. If we want the fraction, we can press math, enter, enter. Notice how the elements here are the same as our new row one here. So now we'll take this matrix and perform two more row operations. So here's the same matrix. We want to take this matrix and replace row three, this row here, with row two plus row three. So this new row three is row two plus row three. Looking at our notation here, this is the original row two, and then plus the original row three should give us this result here. Let's go ahead and verify this. So second open parenthesis, the elements of row two are here, so zero comma three comma negative two comma negative one. Close the row, plus row three, so second open parenthesis, zero comma negative three comma nine comma negative six. Close the row by pressing second close parenthesis, enter. Zero, zero, seven, negative seven is the correct new row three. And for our last row operation, we want to use this matrix here and then replace row one with negative one third times row two plus row one. Notice by doing this, we'll obtain a zero in this entry here because negative one third times three is negative one plus one is zero. So on the calculator, we'll enter negative one third times this row two, which is here, plus row one, which is given here. So again, negative one divided by three. Second open parenthesis. Now we'll enter the elements in row two. So zero comma three comma negative two comma negative one. Close the row, second close parenthesis plus row one. Second open parenthesis one comma, one comma, negative two comma, negative three halves. 
second close parenthesis and enter. And now we'll press math, enter, enter for fractions. So our new row one is one, zero, negative four thirds, negative seven sixths. Which again we obtained by replacing row one with negative one third times row two plus row one. So again, this is a pretty straightforward example, but using this method to perform row operations can be helpful when we have a lot of fractions involved. I hope you found this helpful.